One then goes into sujood, prostration on his seven limbs. As the Prophet wasallam said, I have been commanded to prostrate on seven bones on the jabha, the bone extending from the nose till the forehead. And he pointed with his hands toward his nodes, the palms, the knees, and ends of the two feet, i.e. the toes, agreed upon. Furthermore, in sujood, one should leave space between his arms and his armpits, between the stomach and thigh, and between the thighs and legs. One should also lift his forearms away from the ground. One says in sujood, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, glory to be my Rabb, the Most High. Saying this once is obligatory, and it is encouraged that one repeats it along with the other narrated adhkar. Then one says the takbir and sits on his left foot while keeping his right foot erected. This position is called iftirash. This is to be done in all the sitting positions during salah, except during the last tashahud where one should perform a tawarruk by sitting in the ground and placing his left foot out under his right leg. Then one should say, Rabbi ghfirli warhamni wahdini warzuqni wajburni wa'afini. O my Lord, forgive me, have mercy upon me, guide me, provide for me, compel me to goodness and give me health. Then one makes a second sujood just like the first one. Then one rises up bo- both his feet while making the takbir and performs the second rak'ah just like the first one without reciting the opening supplication. Then one sits for the first ashahud, which is at tahiyyatu lillah wa salawatu wa tayyibat. Assalamu alayka yuhu nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasul. Sovereignty is for Allah. All acts of worship and good deeds are for Him. May the peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah be upon you, O Prophet. Peace be upon us and all of the right Allah's righteous worshippers. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone, and I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is His worshipper and messenger. One then says the takbir and prays the rest of the salah by reciting al-fatiha in every rak'ah. Then one sits for the last tashahud, which is as previously mentioned. However, one adds to the following, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayt ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Innaka hamidun majid. وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. O oh Allah, send your blessings upon Muhammad and the household of Muhammad as you sent your blessings on the household of Ibrahim. You are indeed Hamid, Majid, full of all praise and majesty. And be the gracious upon Muhammad and the household of Muhammad just as you were gracious upon the household of Ibrahim. You are indeed Hamid, Majid, full of praise and majesty. Two, أعوذ بالله من عذاب جهنم ومن عذاب القبر ومن فتنة المحيا والممات ومن فتنة المسيح الدجال. I seek refuge in you from the punishment of hell, from the punishment of the grave, from the trials of life and death, and the trials of the Dajjal. Three, after this, one can make any dua supplication to Allah that he wishes, but using the authentically narrated dua is best. Then one makes taslim to his right and his left by saying Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. May Allah's peace and mercy be upon you. This is based on the hadith narrated by Wa'il ibn Hajar, recorded by Abi Dawood. From the previously mentioned, the verbal arkan, pillars of salah are takbirat al ihram, recitation of al fatiha, the last tashahud, and making taslim. The remaining actions of salah are action based arkans, except the first tashahud including sitting for it, which is wajib obligatory action of salah.